the NCAA says, you know, I'm kind of good. I'm just going to stop doing stuff. Right. Say when. Yes, we'll say when. What the age? What the? What was he thinking? Release the hounds. The Dave Hooker Show. Keep cool. A presentation of offthehooksports.com. The NCAA says they're halting all investigations. This is clearly tied to Tennessee beating them in court, the state of Tennessee, the state of Virginia. What investigation can you possibly move forward with when it comes to NIL or payment of players? Caleb, there is absolutely nothing that you can do because you don't know what the rules are. And it appears as if the rules are, there are no rules. Your thoughts brought to you by Don Self, your state farm agent in the Chattanooga area, Caleb. I'm sorry. I was dying when I saw this because this is when. I'm going to say that vague real quick, but this is the classic case of someone threatens to do something to you. They realize they can't do something to you because you fight back and like, there's no way you can do that. And then they say, well, I've decided I won't do this to you after all. Well, you don't have the choice to do this to me after all. I'm going to get, just give you guys a quick story. Um, right, a, a small town newspaper I used to work at in Western Maryland, there was a crazy local politician who came at our paper and said, if you guys use my name in the paper, I will sue you for defamation. Well, we're allowed to use your name. Sorry, bro. So like we ran a huge op-ed, like using his name as much as possible. And then he comes out the next day and says, I've decided not to sue for defamation. You never had the chance to sue for defamation. So the NCAA coming out saying, well, guys, we're not going to do any NIL investigations right now. You mean the thing you're not allowed to do right now because the courts said you can't do it? This is them trying to pretend that they still have some sort of authority, Dave. And it's hilarious to watch. And the funniest thing is it's them being too late again because they do this after they lost their case or got the temp TRO granted against Tennessee. They should have done this the minute they knew they were going to lose in court. It speaks to the tone deaf nature of the NCAA because you don't need to make this statement that you're going to come out and you're going to put all investigations on pause. You don't need to leak this to the media whatsoever because you look like a big goofball. Here's the other reason why they look like a big goofball is we're just talking about NIL. But how how about other investigations uh, brought to you by Don Self? Don Self in Chattanooga is your state farm agent in the Chattanooga, Ottawa in College Dale area, call 423-396-2126, 423-396-2126, or go to donself.net. That's donself.net. So are they not doing investigations on academic fraud? Are they not doing investigations on anything? Are they just hanging it up, closing the no, investigation stop- department? No, they're stopping investigations into third-party deals with athletes, which is basically an IO. Okay, but let so, me let me explain to you how poorly of a business this, this is run. And I can't remember if if you and I were working together at the time or not. Did you know the NCAA in the beginning of the 2023 year, calendar year, hired about 40 more enforcement agents? Were you aware of that? I actually did know that. Okay, so um, that took them up to like 47 because they had seven for all of the NCAA, which is a stupid number. How in the world you could have single digits for 121 Division One football teams, 300 uh, in other sports such as basketball, but they had seven. Seven. What's in the box? No, not that movie. They had seven. So they up it to 47. Well, what are these other 40 dudes going to do? Because gals, dudes, you know that they were hired to look into this uh, NIL payment and the NCAA was going to get control. So these 40 people have put their careers on the line working for the NCAA. And I hate to tell you, but you're going to be lucky if you have a job by the end of the year. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I really am sorry. You, you talked about this yesterday. We don't want anybody, a regular Joe making, you know, $60,000, $70,000 a year to lose their job. We're not talking about those guys. We are talking about those guys. We're not talking about the guys making 300000 that we don't really care. Oh, I agree. And what people need to understand about this is 
even if you hate an institution, and again, you can hate some government institutions, some media, the NCAA, whatever. When layoffs happen <laughs> at those inst- Excuse me. RS. <laughs> RS. Go ahead. Uh, when, when people are laid off at this, those institutions, they're not the people responsible for the things you hate about those institutions. Exactly. They are your regular day workers who just go in, clock in, just try to put food on the table. So like when you laugh, like say you hate ESPN and you laugh about the ESPN layoffs, the people who you hate for ESPN being what it is are not the ones who are being laid off. They are average regular day, regular people going to work, trying to provide for their family every day. And it's never good when those people lose their jobs. And Except for I don't, like a Trey Wingo. He was making like 7 million his last year. Did oh, yes, that? that's true. Actually, I mean, ESPN is a bad example because they did hire, fire some high-profile people. ESPN off the board. You, Seven okay, when, million, though, for a Trey Wingo? Put it this way. Let's I'm going to tra- trade down, and I'll take uh, three Stan Hills and a fourth-round pick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so put it this way. Last year, the New York Times and Fox News had a bunch of layoffs, Okay different sides of the political spectrum, whether or not you like either of those outlets, right? Yes. And both sides were cheerleading the layoff of the opposite side. Guys, the people laid off were not the people you hate from those networks, wherever you land politically or media outlets. They were regular everyday people just trying to collect a check and do a job. Okay. And you're hating. And if you laugh at the NCAA, we all laugh at them. The people that are running it are terrible, but the victims of this are not going to be the, uh, at this around this round are not going to be the upper management. It's going to be the day workers that are not responsible for the incompetence of the NCAA. They're just hired to keep the ship going. And, you know, they're, they're the ones who work in the, in the doldrums of the ship that just try to keep it moving. They're not the ones driving it into the iceberg. Put it that way. Exactly. Uh, how do Vols finish the season? That's our poll question. And it's brought to you by our friends at the Hemp House. Beat Kentucky and South Carolina, gets 71% of the vote. Lose one of those games, gets 27% of the vote. Lose both, gets 2% of the vote. Lose both is the only way that I could uh, consider this stretch run to not be a success. If they go 3-1 and one in the stretch run, I'm not going to tell you after Kentucky, if they were to beat South Carolina, lose Kentucky, that, oh, they lost to Kentucky, that's bad. I know. 3-1 and one in this run against Four, correct me if I'm wrong, top 15 ranked teams. Uh, yes, top 15, them? yes. When you played them. By the way, can you check and see if we have the, the rankings out yet? I was kind of wondering where Tennessee might pop up to. Portions of the program brought to you by the Hemp House, the premier hemp dispensary online with a wide variety, great selection, and strict standards to ensure you only receive the best in CBD or Delta products. Uh, hemp House chat with 2 Impouse chat with two T's.com. Use the promo code hooked for a 10% off credit. Promo code hooked for 10% off. So, do we have Tennessee in the rating jet? I thought there was a pretty good chance they might. No, rankings aren't out yet. So, they're still number four. Um, did who lost who, ahead of them? Uh, I'm not sure anybody lost ahead of them over the weekend. Uh, Purdue, UConn, and Houston all played. Houston has not lost ahead of them. Um, I'm, you ready for my, are you ready for my Michigan? Prediction. You remember I was the one that told you not to pat myself on the back. I broke my arm. But I told you in September that I thought Michigan was was the best football team. Now, I'm late to the party on this. I think Houston's going to win it all. I think they're the best basketball team out there. Really? You think Houston is the best basketball team? I do. I do. They got that that big guy, and they got guards that can shoot. It's And perhaps it's – I got I got dumped by a short brunette when I was a sophomore in high school, so I've always found short brunettes to be attractive. So maybe it's because I like the way that this Houston offense is built with a big man in the middle <laughs> and lots of shooters on the outside. Is that a reach for a comparison? But that is I, – I just like this offense. I like the way it's built. 